Hello everyone, I'm Mirko Ravanelli and in this brief video I would like to announce the Speech Brain project. The goal of Speech Brain is to develop an open source all-in-one speech toolkit relying on PyTorch. Uh, more precisely, we would like to develop a single, flexible and user-friendly toolkit that can be used to easily develop state-of-the-art speech technologies. For instance, we would like to use the toolkit for speech recognition, both HMN, DNN or um, end-to-end speech recognition. We will also like to um, develop techniques for speaker recognition, for speech announcement and speech separation, for multi-microphone signal processing, including uh, informing techniques, for instance, but also speech contamination, self-supervised learning, and many, many other techniques in a single flexible toolkit. Well, the goal of this project is clearly very, very ambitious because such a toolkit doesn't exist. In fact, you find several toolkits which are designed for some uh, specific speech applications, but you cannot find a single unified toolkit which is suitable for a large variety of speech applications. For instance, in the field of speech recognition, one popular toolkit is Kali. Kali is used for HMM DNN speech recognition and it is extremely efficient because it's written in C directly and it provides um, very often state of the art performance in many uh, speech recognition applications. The issues with Kali is that uh, it is, there, it is, there is a lack of flexibility with it. For instance, if you would like to implement your own acoustic model, your own neural network, you will have to directly change the C++ code and this clearly um, is not that flexible. Um, to improve this issue, uh, there are some uh, projects based on uh, Python. One is PyCaldi, which is a wrapper uh, of Caldi, and one other is our PyTorch Caldi toolkit, where we give users the flexibility to implement their acoustic models uh, using uh, PyTorch. One other very important toolkit is ASP.NET, which uh, is still based on Python and PyTorch, but only supports end-to-end -end speech recognition models, which are just one of the uh, possibilities we have in uh, speech recognition these days. Together with these toolkits, we have many other uh, codes that have been developed for uh, different tasks such as speech separation, speech announcement, speech recognition, and many, many others. So yes, a lot of toolkits. But what about having a single tool for many speech tasks? What are the advantages or the potential advantages of that? Well, first of all, a single efficient and flexible toolkit can significantly speed up research and development of speech and audio applications. Uh, for instance, it's, it's easier to familiarize with a single toolkit rather than learning many different ones like the toolkits that we have mentioned in the previous slide. Moreover, if we share a single platform, it is easier to build a strong and fruitful community because we can share models, we can share issues, we can share experience, etc. And more technically, uh, if we have a single toolkit, we may have end-to-end -end differentiability. We may have potentially a machine which is differentiable from the uh, very first input samples to the very, very last part of the architecture. Moreover, uh, it is uh, uh, with a single platform, it is much more natural to develop multitask systems. For instance, we may have a system that jointly solves speech recognition and speaker recognition, or we may have a joint training pipeline where we jointly train a speech announcement and a speech recognition system for improving the robustness of the system. So this open paved the way to many, many different uh, and powerful applications. 
Fortunately, with current deep learning frameworks, we believe that this is possible, and we we think that PyTorch is is a very very good uh, framework for achieving uh, our goals. Why PyTorch? Well, PyTorch is well designed, is flexible, is popular, and well documented. It has also a large community that has adopted it and is very suitable for basically any deep learning application and including speech application that mainly rely on deep learning and similar processing that can be, of course, naturally implemented in PyTorch. Uh, the advantage of PyTorch is that we can uh, easily perform the processing either on GPU or CPU. We just need to change a flag, so it's very transparent for the users to switch from CPU to the GPU and vice versa. Another good reason is that uh, the Torch Audio Toolkit is under development and we have the opportunity to have a close cooperation between the speech brain team and the Torch Audio team. But to reach this ambitious goal, we need a large community working on this project. So feel free to contact us if you are interested to give a contribution. And these days we are also looking for uh, interns that will work at Mila in the core development team. So if you are interested to hear more opportunity, please contact us at the speech brain project at gmail.com. Fortunately, to help us achieving our goals, we have some important sponsors and collaborators. One sponsor is Mila, then we have Samsung, Nvidia, and Dolby. But we also have collaborate important collaborators, for instance, we have the opportunity to work directly with the PyTorch core development team of Facebook. We will work also with the IBM speech team and also with Fluent AI. That's all for now. Thank you very much for your attention and stay tuned.